Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about dexamethasone suppression test. Cortisol is one of the endogenous hormone which is going to be considered as stress hormone. During the stressful conditions cortisol is going to be released from adrenal cortex. So when there is a stress response it can stimulate the CNS resulting in the stimulation of adrenal cortex. From this adrenal cortex two important mediators are going to be released. One is the epinephrine and second one is the cortisol. So cortisol is one of the hormone released from the adrenal cortex which is going to be entering into the bloodstream. So these two mediators can enter into the systemic circulation where they can affect so many types of organs. Among these cortisol can control the stress response by reducing the inflammation and modifying the immune response. Cortisol can stimulate the heart resulting in the increased heart rate. It can reduce the blood flow to the digestive system. It can also affect the bones, liver where the glucose is more produced and it can modulate the functions of neurons, pancreas. By all of these actions cortisol can reduce the inflammation during the stress response. But sometimes the cortisol levels are going to be elevated which may be due to three reasons. The release of cortisol is stimulated by HP axis involving hypothalamus, anterior pituitary and adrenal glands. From the hypothalamus CRH, corticotrophin releasing hormone is going to be released which can act on the anterior pituitary. Now when this anterior pituitary is stimulated it can release another mediator ACTH. Now this ACTH can act on the adrenal cortex where it is going to release one of the important mediator cortisol. In this way when HP axis is activated cortisol is going to be released. But sometimes these cortisol levels are excessively increased mainly due to three reasons. One is the adrenal tumors which produce more cortisol. So in the patients with adrenal tumors we can observe increased levels of cortisol. Second reason is the pituitary tumors. The pituitary gland tumor result in the increased levels of ACTH. So ACTH is more released which can act on the adrenal gland to release more cortisol levels. So excessively raised ACTH levels may also result in the elevated levels of cortisol. So this is the one of the main reason for the Cushing syndrome where the elevated levels of cortisol are observed because of pituitary tumors. Third reason is also observed for elevated levels of cortisol. Any tumors other than the pituitary can also increase the secretion of ACTH which results in the elevated levels of cortisol. In this way whenever cortisol levels are increased it may be due to adrenal tumors, pituitary tumors or ectopic tumors. Now dexamethasone suppression test can be used to identify the Cushing syndrome that is mainly due to pituitary tumors. So this test can be used to identify whether elevated levels of cortisol are due to either pituitary tumor or due to any other reasons. Now Cushing syndrome is a condition which is associated with elevated levels of cortisol. In this condition we can observe various symptoms of the patient such as increased blood pressure because of increased contraction of the heart as well as contraction of the blood vessels and elevated levels of glucose resulting in the hyperglycemia. Similarly increased obesity and fat deposition particularly on the back side resulting in buffalo humps. Sometimes it can also produce rounding of the face resulting in the moon face because of fat deposition. And hirsutism, unwanted hair growth, particularly facial hirsutism can be observed in the patients because of elevated levels of cortisol. Similarly, muscle wasting can also be observed with Cushing syndrome and the patients can observe some weight gain. Menstrual changes can be observed within the woman and bone strength can also be reduced, resulting in the easy bruising of bones as well as skin. Muscle weakness can also be observed. All these symptoms or collectively called as Cushing syndrome which is associated with elevated levels of cortisol. Now in order to identify this Cushing syndrome we can use the dexamethasone suppression test. Now what is this dexamethasone suppression test? In this test we are going to use one of the compound dexamethasone which is a synthetic steroid. Now this test commonly known as DST it can be done by overnight method where dexamethasone is given 
at the night and sample is collected on the morning of the next day. Otherwise, it can also be done by standard method where this drug is given at equal intervals for 48 hours. So, in the overnight method, the cortisol levels can be estimated by collection of blood sample. But in the standard method, the cortisol levels are estimated by using the urine sample. Because of convenience, this overnight method is more preferred for estimation of cortisol levels by this dexamethasone suppression test. In this test, dexamethasone can be given at low dose as well as at the high dose. The low dose dexamethasone test is mainly used to differentiate healthy persons from the patients. Whereas high dose dexamethasone test is mainly used to differentiate pituitary versus adrenal tumors. In the healthy people, HP axis works normally. So normally cortisol levels can control this HP axis. When these cortisol levels are elevated, it can produce negative feedback mechanism both on hypothalamus as well as on the pituitary. Now cortisol can inhibit the release of ACTH so that ACTH is not excessively released which results in the decreased cortisol levels. In this way, the cortisol levels within the systemic circulation can produce a negative feedback mechanism on the HP axis. So this is the condition of healthy people. Now let us see what happened in the patients with Cushing syndrome. Now suppose a person is having elevated levels of cortisol. Suppose this is because of pituitary tumor. Now we can identify the reason for elevated levels of cortisol whether it is due to pituitary tumor or because of any other reason by using dexamethasone test. So we can give the dexamethasone at low dose which is an external steroid. So when it is given externally it can affect the ACTH levels but because of low dose it cannot produce any negative feedback mechanism in the patients with pituitary tumor. So in such conditions ACTH is excessively released and it can act on adrenal cortex which increase the cortisol levels. So dexamethasone low dose will not have any suppression on cortisol levels in the patients with pituitary tumor. Now when this dexamethasone is given at high dose, it can control the ACTH secretion by negative feedback mechanism. Because of high dose of external steroid, ACTH secretion is inhibited. So when the ACTH secretion is inhibited, the secretion of cortisol from the adrenal cortex is also inhibited resulting in the decreased cortisol levels. So by administration of high dose of dexamethasone, the cortisol levels are suppressed in the patients with pituitary tumor. Now let us see the method of DST, how it is going to be done. In the low dose dexamethasone suppression test, we can use the two methods. The overnight method where the drug is given at 11 pm, dexamethasone is given at a dose of 1 mg and then sample is collected at 8 am by collection of the blood to estimate the cortisol levels. Similarly, this low dose dexamethasone test can also be done by standard method where urine sample is going to be collected. So in this standard method on second day, dexamethasone is given at a dose of 0.5 mg and this dose is going to be repeated for every 6 hours up to 48 hours. So totally for 3 days this test is going to be done and the urine samples are going to be collected on the first day, second day and third day. All these samples are going to be pulled to estimate the cortisol levels. Similarly, at the high dose, again, this test can be done by two methods, overnight method as well as standard method. Again, in the overnight method, at 11 p.m., a dose of 8 mg of dexamethasone is going to be given. And then at 8 a.m., blood sample is going to be collected to estimate cortisol levels. Similarly, in the standard method, on second day, dexamethasone is given at a high dose of 2 mg then for every 6 hours the dose is going to be repeated up to 48 hours on these 3 days urine is going to be collected to estimate the cortisol levels now let us see the results and interpretation if the low dose dexamethasone suppression test shows no suppression of cortisol levels but at high dose if it shows suppression of cortisol levels then we can easily identify that it is because of pituitary tumors. In case of pituitary tumor, at low dose, ACTH is not inhibited, so cortisol levels are not affected. But at high dose of dexamethasone, ACTH secretion is inhibited because of negative feedback mechanism. 
so that cortisol levels are also reduced. So this can easily differentiate the pituitary tumors from the adrenal tumors. Similarly, we can find another type of results. At low dose, we cannot observe any suppression of cortisol. Even at high dose, we cannot observe any suppression of cortisol. Then it indicates the elevated levels of cortisol is not because of pituitary tumors. Because at the low dose, dexamethasone cannot suppress the ACTH so that it cannot suppress the cortisol levels. Even at high dose, ACTH levels are not reduced so that cortisol levels are not suppressed, which indicates that the elevated levels of cortisol is not because of pituitary tumors, it is because of any other reason such as adrenal tumors. In this way, dexamethasone suppression test can be used to differentiate the Cushing disease caused by pituitary tumors from other types of disorders which are associated with elevated levels of cortisol. So that's about this dexamethasone suppression test which is given by oral method. This test can also be done by intravenous method but here we have discussed the dexamethasone suppression test given by oral route. So that's for today. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends, post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.